So pause the video on these specs if you care about them. If you don't, I won't bore you. But here are the important ones. The Steel's 1095 Crovan with a flat 20 degree grind and a Rockwell hardness of 56 to 58. That makes it strong, easy to sharpen, and makes it hold a good edge for a very long time. I have accidentally batoned through small nails with this knife, and it's never shown any significant signs of wear or edge damage. I have steepened the bevel slightly since I got it, just because I wanted it to carve slightly better. So when I first got it, the out-of-the-box sharpness wasn't that great, but it polished real nice up to a razor-sharp edge. And, as you would expect, it carves feather sticks, and anything else you may want to carve. The knife batons very well despite its small size, and you can make your way through most any arrangement of wood. While it's a little too light for any major chopping, uh, it will do light delimbing, and you can baton through larger sticks if need be. I've cut down many small trees with this method here, and the knife showed no sign of wear. It comes with a black epoxy powder coating, which will scrape off with prolonged use. There's really just no way to make a coating that bonds strongly enough to the steel to make it withstand that, but there's no way you'll scrape a ferrocerium rod with it. The back spine is very sharp and will throw showers of sparks from a ferrocerium rod or scrape good tinder off of dry sticks. My main concern with this knife when I got it was the strength of the handle. You can see the tang tapers off and then is held in by a pin. Um, but after two years of hard use, you'll hear in the next clip there's no rattle whatsoever. The sheet that comes with the knife is just a total piece of garbage. As you can see, the point has worked its way through the back, and it doesn't retain the knife with or without the buckle. So, buy yourself a new one or make yourself a new one and chuck this one right in the garbage can. While I can imagine this handle would be fantastic in terms of its ergonomics when used as a fighting knife, as a bushcrafting tool, there are some issues with it. The handle is a little bit rough on the hand. As you see, it has a lot of sharp corners and edges, and those really start to dig into your hand and tear up the skin after just a few minutes of carving. It's okay if you're wearing gloves or only carving something quickly, but after prolonged carving, it does tend to really start tearing up the skin of your hand. That guard also makes thumb driving kind of awkward. You either have to reach over or around it, and neither is particularly comfortable. So my overall impressions over the past two years of using the knife, it's a solid, really well-built tool that'll get you through most any situation and do any task you ask of it. The uncomfortable handle and the crappy sheath sort of let it down, but Kydex sheaths are available online, and you can wear gloves to protect your hands. For a completely arbitrary number rating, I give it a 7 out of 10. It's a solid tool with just a few quirks.